Hi, I'm Michael Holston, a 23 Palm Eagle Scout from Flint River Council, Georgia, and a an sales associate at the Flint River Scout Shop. Whether you are searching for a potential Eagle Scout project, or simply bored and playing video games and want to venture outdoors and participate in your community, summer is the perfect time to conduct service projects. Over the next few weeks, my videos will cover a few ideas for conservation-related service projects, which are an important part of multiple awards and requirements within the BSA. Today, we are beside the pristine fishing waters at High Falls State Park in Butts County, Georgia. If you have ever been fishing, you may have noticed littered fishing line, lures, and bobbers glistening in the sunlight. This is not just unsightly, it is a serious environmental concern. Littered monofilament fishing line is blown into the water, where it kills fish, ensnares amphibians, clogs boat motors, and takes 600 years to decompose. Imagine the havoc it can wreak on an aquatic ecosystem over 600 years. To mitigate the impact of littered fishing line, many shorelines install fishing line recycling stations and collection stations. Once collected in this tube, the monofilament fishing line can be shipped off to a plant to be recycled. Rather than killing wildlife for the next half millennia, the fishing line can be crafted back into useful products right here in the USA. The construction of this device is simple. Let's take a closer look. Each tube is cut into three pieces of either 4 inch or 6 inch PVC pipe. The elbow joint on top deflects rainwater and provides an opening for the proper disposal of fishing line. Next, the body of the tube stores collected line. Lastly, the base is covered with a PVC end piece which can unscrew to empty the tube. Additionally, stickers are required to denote the nature and purpose of this contraption. As you may have guessed, it is fairly uncomplicated and inexpensive to construct one of the 4-inch variants of these for a state park or local fishing destination. If you want to know more about the Fishing Line Recycling Initiative, visit www.boatus.org slash monofilament. Installing a few of these tubes around a local fishing destination makes for the perfect eagle project, which can double count as a Hornaday badge project. Two awards for the price of one. For more information on the group of Hornaday Awards and double counting your Eagle Project for the Hornaday Badge, visit www.scouting.org slash awards slash Hornaday dash awards slash awards. While over 2 million Scouts have earned their Eagle, less than 2,000 have earned a Hornaday Award. The BSA offers three variants of Hornaday Awards for youth members and two types for adult leaders. Upcoming videos will contain in-depth information on these awards and additional service project concepts. But until then, keep scouting and keep serving. I'll see you next week.